All right, so in this demo, what I'm going to do is show you how you can use uh, Presenter to create Flash movies that are just audio files that you can then use in QuizMaker. And I'll give you an example of how that works. So the first thing we want to do is we're in Presenter, we're in PowerPoint, and what we want to do is just we'll just create some slides that have some visual cues to them. So in this case, I'm going to create a two-choice uh, quiz. And so what we have is uh, we've got our quiz uh, choice A here, and this will be our quiz choice B, and then we've got a feedback slide. And what we're going to do is just go to record narration, and we'll record the audio that we want for our choices, and then we're going to publish the course. And when we publish the course, we're going to get something that looks like this. So here's our course. You can see this is the slide. There's audio playing in there. And go to my other slide. I don't really care about the course. The only thing is I want these slides that are now flash files with audio. So if we actually look in the production folder, let's go backwards. So this is what your published course is going to look like. And there's the data folder, and inside the data folder is a Swift folder, and then inside the Swift folder you see your slide.swifts. So there's three slides, so you see slide one, slide two, and slide three. So I can click on slide one, and then you can see there's my slide, and there's audio that would be playing. So we're going to import these into QuizMaker and use the uh, flash files that presenter built for us. So let's go ahead and look at QuizMaker. And the way I structured this, I'll show you how we build it in a second, but the way I structured it is I have a true-false question. You've got two choices. You can listen to the audio. If you choose A, you're going to get feedback that's going to go to this slide. If you choose B, you're going to get feedback that goes to this slide. So the way I built it is I just built a true-false question. And then I created two blank slides, and I added the flash files to those. So I'll show you how that works. So first thing is we come into a question that I already started. So by default in QuizMaker, you're going to have this form view. So you can create your question, make your choices. You've got your default feedback settings here. If you want to record audio for the feedback, you can do that. And you can record your audio here. Hit OK. and. Um, and then uh, let's see what that would look like. So let's preview uh, just the default quiz. So when I preview this, I've got my true false. I can click on that. I hit submit. And then I get my default feedback box. And if I had audio, I would hear the audio. The only challenge here is if I wanted to replay the audio, I can't. And because it's the quiz, I'm just going to keep moving to the next question. So I don't really have a way to review this audio in the feedback when I'm getting it. And so if I miss something, if I don't understand English or, or whatever it would be, um, I don't have the opportunity to rewind it. So I'll show you how we fix that. So let's go out of preview. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go into slide view and we're going to create our question. So in slide view, you can break up the form, which is a really neat feature in Presenter. So I can move my form around. And then what I can do is I can insert my flash file that has the audio on it. So we just go to insert, we go to flash movie. That'll take me to the folder. I'm going to insert slide one. And I have a menu box here. Now in the menu box I can choose uh, what I want to do with the video. I'm going to go ahead and have movie controls because I want the learner to be able to move it back and forth, but I don't want it to start automatically. I hit OK, and there's my flash video. And then I can scale it down, and then I can uh, add it to my uh, course like this. And so now it becomes, instead of text, you'd actually have uh, an audio file you can listen to and um, make your selection. So let's go ahead and close that. So that's what I did. I created here, I created two audio files that you can select. And then here I created two feedback files. Now, uh, what we want to do is when we go into the questions that I created, we go to slide view. You can see here's my question structure. You're going to click on this, and then on feedback, if we go back to form view, I emptied out the feedback box here. By emptying that, you're not going to get that default box. And I just go to more, and then I can change my feedback. So instead of getting the feedback up here, you can branch to it. So I set my correct feedback here, and you can see the branching, and then I set my incorrect feedback. So we uh, the way it works is you choose A, you're going to go here. If you choose B, you're going to go here. So let me show you how that works. So here's the quiz. I'm going to choose my option, hit Submit. Now instead of the feedback box, I go to this audio file, and I can play it and rewind it. 